Free Trello versus Paid Trello Project Management Plan Comparison. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the differences between the free version of Trello and the paid version. Trello is a really popular project management tool, but it has a free version that we're most used to talking about. But it also has a standard premium and enterprise version, which offers a extensive list of features, including things like more AI based commands with more automation and more file storage. So let's see some of their major differences and let's get started. So to get started, we're going to first sign in on Trello and I'm just going to proceed with Google over here and we're going to see what features we get for free as well as what is going to be available to us with an upgrade only. So I'm just going to open up Trello with our new account over here. And one thing you need to note about Trello is that on the free version of Trello, you are going to find a lot of limitation based upon views. So things like a listicle view, you know, you're not going to be able to access a lot of those features. So we're going to get a 30 day premium trial. You guys can see that you don't have to pay anything right now. You simply have to put in your information. And after you put in your information, uh, you're going to be charged after one month. So you can proceed with that as well. But we're going to continue on to Trello. Now, this is what my Trello workspace looks like on the free version of Trello. You have a simple Trello board and you can create as many boards as you would like. So if I want to build a new board, I can just create that board like so. And just like that, I have a new board on Trello. And if I want, I can, you know, build another board. This really just depends on how many boards you really need, what type of boards you're working on as well. Then on the top, you also have a recent section, a starred and template section. You guys can see if you go into the template section, you can actually explore some templates provided by Trello. This includes things like a education based templates, HR based templates and much more. And you can really pick out whichever template you like. So let's say I want to build a simple ticket triage. We can see over here, this is a really basic one and you guys can see it also has power ups. Now, this is one thing to note is that certain power ups on Trello are only reserved for the premium version. So as you guys can see on the top right, this particular template uses a lot of power ups and you can add power ups, but certain power ups are only available to the premium version. Additionally, if you take a look at automation, so if I want to build any automation on Trello, uh, I can click on create automation over here, add a trigger and then set those up. However, let's compare the pricing and how these are going to differ. Well, you can create 10 boards per workspace on the free version with unlimited cards and unlimited power ups per board, but you have unlimited storage at only 10 MB per file. So you can't attach files larger than 10 MBs and you only have 250 workspace command runs per month, which means that if you have automation set up, if you have those workspace commands, then you can only set up a command that is not going to be run over 250 times. For example, I have a trigger that when a card moves, that when a card moves, I get a notification. Now, even if I do add this automation, after I receive the 250th automation, it's not going to notify me the next time because I've simply run out of automations. Now, other than that, you have custom backgrounds and stickers, as well as unlimited activity logs to FA and Android and iOS apps. Then on the standard version, we have unlimited boards and advanced checklists. Now, what are advanced checklists? Well, as you guys can see, this is a task and within a task, you guys can see I can add members, labels and then checklists. And if I want to add advanced checklists, I can only do this with the premium version of Trello. So for example, I have this Kanban template and I have this example task. If I want to add a checklist, I can do that. If I want to add things like automations within my checklist, if I want to add, um, you know, a subtask within checklists, I wouldn't be able to do that. 
And that can be really helpful when you're dealing with larger tasks and you're trying to break them down as well. Now, moving on after that, we also have custom fields that we can add. So on Trello, you can see we have the option of custom fields where you can add a customized specifier to your tasks. So let's say I want to label something like priorities or if I want to label something like a customized date or a customized sticker label. Um, maybe it's related to my IT department, maybe it's related to my marketing department. And I want to specify that with a custom field. I wouldn't be able to do that on the free version of Trello. Moving on, you also have access to more storage, which is 250 MB per file, which is a lot of storage. Then you have 1000 workspace commands, which is significantly higher than the free version's 250. And you also have single board guests. Now, this is a really important feature when you have guest spaces. So let's say within my Trello section, I only want to invite a guest to see how our ticketing system is going. So I can invite them as a guest to this board without making them a member, making them only have access to this board without them being able to see the rest of our boards on Trello. This ensures privacy of your team while still being able to connect with your third parties, with any other business partners or your suppliers or your clients. Then after that, even after the standard version, you have the premium version of Trello, which has more features. So with the free premium version, you have things like timeline, dashboard and map views and this is why i always recommend either you go for the premium version of trello or you go for the free version because the standard version does not have as much value as the premium version you guys can see we have a board view over here but if you want any of the other views you can only do that with the premium version of trello it also has things like workspace views of tables and calendars unlimited command runs, as well as the Atlassian AI, admin and security features, collections, observers, and simple data exports. So for project management, I would personally recommend either if you're looking for a free tool, if you're fine with some of the limited features like a limited view option on Trello, then you should proceed with the free version. But if you do want to upgrade, upgrade to the premium for more value. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video